So what's happening here today is that we are trying to make a difference in the world. So the tar sands, the world is running out of uh, oil. So we're turning to Alberta, Canada to extract these tar sands. Tar sands is a mix of uh, clay, dirt, uh, and oil in the, in the ground, 100 meters deep that they need to boil water in order to extract because it's a mix of oil and sands so they need to boil this water in order to create oil and which is creating car I mean administering carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and which uncontrollably so what they do to create these open pit mines is the process that they use they are cutting down the number one boreal forest in the world which is in Canada clear cutting that down scraping the land uh, um, pit mining and 100 meters deep to extract these sands and boiling water with the sands in order to separate the dirt from the oil, causing using enough natural gas to heat six, what, six million homes per day. And then what they are doing is it's releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But since all these trees have been cut down, there are no trees to grab the, um, you know, to sponge the carbon dioxide. So it's just going into the atmosphere, causing an eight to ten year. In eight to ten years, we'll see a tipping point with the weather change. And if this doesn't stop the natural disasters won't stop. It'll be more unstoppable. And I come from Canada, so in the past four years, we've seen more tornadoes in the past four years than we've seen in the past decade or so. You know, very destructive. Yeah, and you know, it's it's pushing nature away, it's pushing plants away, it's destroying the habitat. And for a country that prides themselves on such prosperous land, they're not doing so well. De terre sandoli, comptenariopa. Canada rum, ya op.